pain and glory are always connected, my dear friends. The Lord is saying today, I now create new heavens and new earth and form things will not be remembered, nor will they come to mind again. So, former one, a new sun, new sky and new earth, former and the new. So the Lord, if the Lord is saying that I will create a new earth and new heaven, so what about the former one? Old earth and old heaven. So new denotes that there is an old one. He has to break the old heaven and earth. Heaven is your expectations, your dreams, your whims. And earth is the ground that you have, that you have, that you are that you, that you live, that you lay your foundation on which you stand. The Lord is going to change it. Remember, He does that by breaking it. So all the time He asks you to come, leave, let go. He has to repent. Why? There is a promise waiting for you. No eye can see, no ear can hear, no mind can imagine the, the entire gamut, the, the, the greatness of his plan waiting for you. That day the Lord is saying, be glad forever and rejoice in what I create. For I create Jerusalem to be a joy and its people to be a delight. So be delight in things that he's going to create. Create, my dear friends. And he breaks it, cuts it, chops it, smash it to break, to create a new thing. And it's, it's going to be beautiful. So when you go through pain, wait for the expectation. Hold on to the promise. That's exactly what, should you, what you should do. That's, it. That's why in, John, in Luke chapter 1 verse 45 it is said, Blessed is she who believed the promise is going to be fulfilled definitely. That's Mother Mary. So and everything collapses. Everything falls apart. When his dreams were crushed, she believed the word. The Lord is, going to, the Lord is saying, you will no longer know of dead children or of adults who do not live out a lifetime. So here comes a person in the gospel today. Uh, and his son is sick in Galilee. This person come, an official whose son was ill. And when he had heard that Jesus had come from Judea to Galilee, he went and asked him to come and heal his son, for he was at the point of death. So how this official his, uh, his status, his power, his glory, glamour, grandeur, all the pride, his standards, his influence, my dear friends, are all broken. His son, you know, in, in Israel, in Palestine, son, father, son relationship is very strong, very strong. And uh, the son is sick and going to die. Whole earth is shaken. Whole sky is shaken. His blood, he can't, his foundation, his future is gone with the sun. And his trust is gone with the, with the sun. Shattered, shaken, my dear friends. But then the beauty of it, God created heaven and earth with his word, if you can remember. God created his word let there be light, that word became power and it, it created the whole universe. Jesus is saying, go, go, your son lives. Go, your son lives. As if let there be light. The God, the Jesus, the Lord is creating a new heaven, new earth in his life. Definitely, there is a, there is a, par, there is a parousia, second coming of God. There is an eschatological truth 
where it's going to the whole earth is going to destroy and new world heaven would be real definitely but then it's here and now also so when your dream is shattered when your earth and sky is shaken and blurred go to jesus only he can do that the word of god should be your strength jesus says the word go your son lives practically speaking his life is done my dear friends he's saying lord unless you sir come down before my child dies he's still he's in a dire strait he's done he's completely crushed squeezed to the neck and jesus says go your son lives the word says the man had faith in the word that jesus spoke to him and went his way beautiful isn't it that's how the new new earth and new sky is going to be in your life you journey with faith you leap you have that leap in the darkness faith is assurance of that hope hope faith comes her faith comes by the word of god jesus says it's here he he she is going to leap he own it have it joyfully accepted it and journey i ready to do this my dear friends when all the dreams are shaken shattered broken when you are done are you where are you going you will be lofting about you will find answers you beg people you fall sheep for answers without relying on jesus jesus has he has the answer where are you going and when he speaks it will happen he owned the word jesus is going to speak to your storm be silent jesus is going to speak to you a path open jesus is going to speak to you talita kumi child rise jesus is going to speak to you go sin no more are you ready to believe it you don't you know you don't he never make the make a phone call and check whether son is healed he goes in the journey are you ready to have that step in your darkness leap in the darkness jesus go he goes there and john of course very methodical in his writing he says exactly when when they met when he met the servants they said my your son lives and he checked whether but at what time exactly the time jesus told that he lives exactly that time he is healed see the time and space is governed by the word of god he speaks in a different sphere different space and exactly that time when jesus spoke it happened and he's going to do the same thing with you when you are with your broken pieces shattered dreams remember he has to break you to make you he has to shake you to settle you he has to he has to wipe you to clean you you have to go through that formation so when your sky is blurred when your earth is shaken when your sun is at the deathbed when your hopes are gone believe in the word and have it and own it do your go your journey god will do the most needed thing in your life think about it and have a nice day may god bless you